Go check this thing out. Subscriber, customer, friend. It's got a little overheating problem with me straightening it out. Got a little rear main seal leak. So that ain't a good looking little car though. Real nice little street car. Brought me some shirts, some hand cleaners, some towels. Got a sniper EFI on it, not a bad little ride. Back to the channel, Will. Another day, another dollar. Goes made it to the racetrack. We come out here. We got Nigel down here to the other side of us. I couldn't park down there because there's people there. Y'all check out Michael's car. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Got him a nice little ride right here. So, we out here helping him out today. Like I said, uh, He's already went way faster. Fast he's faster ever been in his life was 690, and he's already done good. Today he's already riding. We got Caden in this thing. Got the heads on it. No water. E85. Nigel just reaching the tune up for it. See, we ain't got the water ports on front of the heads no more. So I pulled the line. I ain't pulled the radiator out. We're gonna pull it out tomorrow, but we pulled the weight off of it. And this pass, and honestly, hopefully, hopefully Caden will get him a high off. Hopefully, Kate will get him a four second pass on this one and stay together. Like I said the heads are on it. I just want to run it once or twice and then I want to load it up. I want to take it home and I want to retort the heads tomorrow and get the heads go over everything and then we'll be back tomorrow to race or whatnot. So we're just trying to come out here tonight, play with it. Tomorrow it'll be on methanol. Today, so I get follow you. I didn't show y'all this. Look, there's no intake. So I end up getting the, the old intake back. Uh, sorry camera i got it facing towards me so it's weird so we got 16 injectors back on it. the second ones ain't hooked up yet i got the i got the pigtails with us inside the car right here to go 16 injectors i done cleaned the injectors out checked them all that's good we got like i said we got it all hooked up and all that we're ready to go all i gotta do is swap the fuel swap the tune and we're ready to put e85 on it but Turbo's got a couple of bent blades on the exhaust side. I guess when we torched that, when we went, to, when we went to Piedmont, and the injector come off and it torched all that stuff and the stuff went to the exhaust, it got a hold of that turbine because I heard it squeak earlier. I took the exhaust off of it and there was some bent blades in it. So it's been struggling a little bit on spool up and that explains it. So we're running today and it is what it is. Cage gonna have fun. We'll have a good night, no matter what the outcome is. At the end, we're going to end up going through, and I'll probably send that thing out to Jose over the winter or whatever, get him to put a new exhaust wheel in it and all that stuff again. That's what happens when you blow stuff up and it goes through the turbine housing. It chews the blade up and all that. But we got Justin Owenby here, and his car, not to tuned it the other day on the dyno. Got him a new motor together in it going pretty good right there right there's Justin's car we got Jeff Guy out here with us right here in his car he got a nice little Trans Am Nigel Tunes look at that thing nice nice car and then of course we got Nigel's car
feel like I've been here before. So what did it do, Nigel? Uh, about half a second to the run, we had an injector failure. According to the fuel tech, it uh, said that, uh, and I don't know what caused it, I don't know if it's if a wiring issue or if an injector shorted internally. Yeah, yeah. But it well, said the injector was bad. Or said it was yeah, that's so what the fuel tech said, so we lost an injector there. And um, it was fast until it wasn't. When you're making that kind of power, it stuff gets torched, but it was on its way to PB. I guess it's not. be what it be. It'll, we'll fix it. Yep. And y'all check this thing out. Y'all look, come here, look at Michael. So tell them who you are, where you're from. Michael Nell, Thornburg Machine, uh, Swinging in North Carolina, if proud. If y'all remember in my video, he done the hub for the little Z. I went there and done a tour of his shop. I'm gonna go and do another tour here real soon to show y'all his new laser and all that. But if y'all need any kind of money job, not not just your knickknack, you need this, but if you, if you had a company and you really need something fabricated and looking for somebody, where can they reach you at? Uh, they reach me at 704-735-5421 Thornburg Machine in Lincoln, North Carolina. Anything with CNC, plasma cutter, anything. They got meals, they got legs, they got any kind of thing to build stuff, they got it there. They got all the toys that a boy, a boy like me dreams of. But did y'all see that hot rock go down through there? Tell them what you did. Tell them. How fun was it? 
fun. Very fun. fun. Yeah. For a guy that ain't never been out racetrack, he is freaking flying with this hot rod right here. Well, y'all check us out tomorrow. And Caden here, PB. What you think, son? Hey, uh, well, hey, I've, been, solid... I've, been, I've been faster all around. I've been faster since he's been mile an hour. But not ET. Yeah, not you ET. PB'd ET. And you've only been three mile an hour faster. Yeah. So we got a wastegate going from. I didn't record it. Hold on a minute. So I didn't record it, but this wastegate right here is going bad. It's messing up. So I bypassed it, and it's still messing up. We're still overrunning the wastegate. So I got to check all our lines out and figure out what's going on with it. But the head stayed underneath it. It made a solid pass, a good pass. So we get to retort the heads. We get to come out here tomorrow and have fun. Also notice our dipstick over here. We blow the oil up on here because the weld right here is cracked. They crack and they blow out right here. So I got another dipstick I'm gonna change or I might weld that one up in the morning and take care of that. But other than that, we had a good night at the track. What you think, Caden? So y'all check out that. Caden almost went four tonight. Five double O or five O O six three. That's not bad to be sixteen years old, is it? How fast were y'all at sixteen? Tell me we ain't proud of him. Please like. Share, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you on later. We appreciate y'all. Great, great time at the track tonight.